In the same conference, President Biden delivered harsh warnings about the threats he said are posed by Russia and China. He slammed the Kremlin for its attempts to undermine democracy and then criticized Beijing for its economic abuses. Let's listen in. The Kremlin attacks our democracies and weaponizes corruption to try to undermine the, our system of governance. Russian leaders want people to think that our system is cr more corrupt or as corrupt as theirs. But the world knows that isn't true. Putin seeks to weaken European, the European project and our NATO alliance. He wants to undermine the transatlantic unity and our resolve because it's so much easier for the Kremlin to bully and threaten individual states than it is to negotiate with a strong and closely united transatlantic community. We cannot and must not return to the reflective opposition and rigid blocks of the Cold War. Competition must not lock out cooperation on issues that affect us all. You know, we must prepare together for long-term strategic competition with China. How the United States, Europe, and Asia work together to secure the peace and defend our shared values and advance our prosperity across the Pacific will be among the most consequential efforts we undertake. Competition with China is going to be stiff. That's what I expect, and that's what I welcome. We have to ensure that the benefits of growth are shared broadly and equitably, not just by a few. We have to push back against the Chinese government's economic abuses and coercion that undercut the foundations of the international economic system. Everyone, everyone must play by the same rules. Meanwhile, NATO chief Jens Stoltenberg, also speaking via video link at the Munich event, echoed Biden's concerns. Let's listen in. China and Russia are trying to rewrite the rules of the road to benefit their own interests. The rise of China is a defining issue for the transatlantic community with potential consequences for our security, our prosperity, and our way of life. This is why NATO should deepen our relationships with close partners like Australia and Japan, and forge new ones around the world.